Hey guys, it's Jordan from Forerunner Lifestyle. Today we're gonna go over one of my favorite trails in the state of Utah that we did the other day as a company, Onion Creek. So Onion Creek is a trail just north of Moab, Utah. It's about 12.6 miles long um, and includes stunning views of the Castle Valley area as well as the base of the LaSalle Mountains. We decided to head out there as part of a Moab in 24 hours trip video that we did, which will be linked below. Um, we did it with about 10 different vehicles um, so we had a pretty big group and it took us about four hours to complete. If you are on your own, it will take you about two hours, but I would factor in the 45 minute travel time to the trailhead. So once you get into Moab, Utah, you will turn left onto highway 128, which is a gorgeous paved road that winds along the Colorado river in this Canyon. You'll get crazy views of the red rock cliffs on the both sides of you, as well as people rafting in the river. Um, it is a really, really cool drive. Um, that alone is just worth going to check out. You will get stunning views of the Fisher Towers to the north and the LaSalle Mountains to the east. So it's definitely worth stopping, getting some pictures, taking in the scenery just while you wait to do the trail. Mile or so down the road, you will get to one of the many campsites in the area. So if you did want to camp here, you can. Um, but this is the official start of the Onion Creek Trail. All right, once you leave this first campground, you will drop down a small hill and cross Onion Creek for the first of about 17 times on this trail. Now, Onion Creek is not very high during the year, but I would worry about flash floods as this canyon is prone to flooding. So just make sure you check the weather in advance, but most of the time it is very low. You don't have to worry about any deep water crossings. As you start to climb up towards the canyon, you'll cross the creek a couple of more times before heading into this crazy slot canyon that just has a road and a river through it. It's awesome. It's one of the prettiest drives that you can have in Moab. As you start to climb up this road, you will, the cliffs will get higher and higher, and then the river will then drop below, to you, below you on the right. I'd recommend stopping plenty of times on this section of the trail as it is one of the prettiest areas that you can be in in Moab. Eventually you'll get to a bridge. This is gonna be your only bridge on the trail. It's a little bit scary, but it definitely can hold the weight of any vehicle. Um, it looks scarier than it is. Once you cross there, the canyon will then open up to a small valley with many different color rolling hills. This is where Onion Creek gets its name. As you drive along the river, you will pass a spring that emits a very strong sulfur smell. Um, you'll eventually pass this and start climbing again on top of these hills. As you pass this area of hills, um, eventually you will get to the top of this mesa. And if you go in May or June, you will be treated to stunning wildflowers for miles as you get to the top of this hill. Um, from there, you can either go north to the top of the World Trail or you can stay straight and go to the Beaver Mesa Trail. Both of these require a little bit more ground clearance and possibly sliders and body armor. Um, but if you choose to stop here, this is the official end of the Onion Creek Trail. You've climbed about 1,500 feet from the start of the trail. So you get quite a bit of elevation and only about 12 miles. Um, if you look back towards the valley that you came through, you get crazy views of Fisher Towers and then the slot canyon that you just drove up. So this is one of my favorite trails. You get a variety of sceneries as you drive along this trail. Um, and it is super easy. If you're wanting to know if you can do this in a stock 4Runner, you definitely can. I don't think any of us used 4x4 the entire time we were on the trail. Um, so if you are looking to do some trails in Moab, you just are getting into it, I would definitely recommend this one. It's one of the prettiest, one of the easiest trails that you can do. It's rated about a three out of 10 on Onyx. I would definitely recommend um, getting on Onyx and looking into the most recent reviews of this trail. That way you can get up to date updates on how the trail conditions are. If you wanna see more of this trail, go ahead and check out our video, 24 Hours in Moab. We'll link it below. If you wanna see more 4Runner content, make sure you're following us on Instagram and subscribe to us on YouTube. And if you do wanna find anything for your Toyota 4Runner build, make sure you check out 4RunnerLifestyle.com for any and all of your 4Runner needs. Thanks guys.